Diabetes Shocking Truth Black Coffee's Effect on Blood Sugar Are you a coffee lover and diabetic? If so, you may be wondering if drinking coffee is safe for managing your diabetes. In this video, we will be looking at the shocking truth about diabetes in coffee and explaining if black coffee affects your blood sugar. We will then give you some tips for enjoying coffee safely. So, if you are curious about this topic, keep watching to find out more. Does black coffee affect blood sugar? Do you know the answer to the age-old question, does coffee raise or lower blood sugar levels? Well, the answer is a little bit complicated. On one hand, black coffee can both raise and lower blood sugar levels. However, drinking black coffee in moderation can have many benefits for people with diabetes. Unlocking the health benefits of drinking black coffee. Did you know that black coffee is a great way to boost your energy levels and reduce symptoms of fatigue? It's true, black coffee is full of antioxidants, which have anti-inflammatory effects on the body. The shocking truth about diabetes and coffee. Diabetes is a serious condition that can be life-threatening if not treated properly. Many people are unaware of the many benefits of black coffee to regulate diabetes. Many people believe that black coffee is harmful to people with diabetes because it increases blood sugar levels. However, this is not always the case. In fact, consuming black coffee in moderation has many benefits for diabetic patients. Tips for diabetics enjoying coffee safely. If you're a diabetic, you know that coffee is a huge part of your day. But not all coffee is created equal, some is more harmful to your blood sugar levels than others. Black coffee is made from ground coffee that has been mixed with hot water and then poured over ice. Because black coffee contains more caffeine than other types of coffee, it has a much greater effect on blood sugar levels. Type 2 diabetes is also affected by caffeine, in fact, research suggests that caffeine may be responsible for up to 50% of cases of type 2 diabetes. Finally, it's important to remember that controlling caffeine intake isn't just about avoiding black coffees, any caffeinated drink can have an impact on glucose levels if consumed in excess amounts. Always remember to keep track of how much caffeine you're consuming and adjust your portion sizes accordingly so you stay within safe limits. Thanks for watching, subscribe now to watch more.